why study international economic law? The answer to this question is, in brief, that international economic law in today's global economy actually affects almost every single policy decision taken by states at the domestic level and taken by international organizations at the international level. So as a consequence, international law is both an international discipline as well as a discipline which is essential for someone that wants to understand the way domestic legal systems are being shaped. So who should study international economic law? Without any doubt, international economic law is of great interest to practitioners. Uh, over the years, we've had many practitioners uh, that have benefited from our course from many different parts of the world. But also, international economic law is of interest to government officials who work in areas uh, such as external relations, uh, ministers of industry, ministers of the environment, and other areas where uh, ministries have inter international links. It is of interest also to uh, the development community because international economic law does have an important role in defining the way development works and maybe in some, some would argue restricting the way uh, development reaches uh, the, the, the poor in the developing world. There is also another reason to study international economic law. You probably are familiar with the heated debates about globalization, whether it's good or whether it's bad. Well, my point here is that it is very difficult to understand the pros and cons of globalization without really knowing what's going on at the legal level. International economic law provides, in a sense, the fabric of uh, the current process of globalization. For better or worse, that's up to you to decide, but certainly it is very difficult to understand international globalization without understanding the legal dimension, which is really the co at the core of, of international economic law. So international economic law is some, a, an area of, work, of study which should be of great interest to all the people involved in the various professions that I've mentioned above, but, and, and you will have to focus both on the public international law dimensions of, 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 of law as well as the private international law dimensions. So as well as we study uh, the IMF, the World Bank, WTO, the International Labour Organization, we will also uh, offer you courses which have to do with competition policy, mergers and acquisitions, with intellectual property and many others that are listed on our website.